You're with newsmakers on the panel, Martin Van Bainen, Jim Tully and Andrew Gunn. Well, Robbie Deans would appear to be under the pump heading into the second Bledisloe at AMI tomorrow night. Uh, of course, after a walloping in Melbourne last weekend, can the wallopies really afford a second hiding? Uh, do you think the wolves, the dogs, are they barking for Robbie Deans? Well, if they lose tomorrow, Mike, uh, I think they probably will be. But, um, you know, you, you, when you, you've got to remember also that, that the wallabies, maybe we should call them the wallabies. Anyway, the wallabies, the wallabies um, did beat South Africa, and they were beaten by the All Blacks last Saturday with 14 men. So maybe that, maybe you know, you, we have to give Robbie a bit of slack. And um, but a lot will depend on tomorrow's result. And also, I'm sure they'll be talking to the players, and they'll be asking the players um, whether Robbie really deserves to be the coach. Mm. Who would be a coach? It's such a high-stakes mm. game, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Do you feel sorry for Robbie Deans? No, because people do this as professionals. That's their career, and they stand or fall by the results. So, I mean, that goes with the territory for a coach. I don't think he would be dropped even if they lose tomorrow, to be honest. I think, you know, a year out is a very short time to be putting someone else in there. And as far as the players are concerned, I mean, it's his team. Mm. It's mostly people that he's put in there who would not have been in, possibly, with a previous coach. So... Are they going to be disloyal? I doubt it. And if they win, if they lose narrowly tomorrow, I don't think there's any issue at all. Yeah. So. What do you think, Andrew? Well, you know me, I don't follow the rugby that closely, right? But I would say it just seems to be, once again, the, the All Blacks are peaking just in time to be a year too early for the World Cup. So. <laughs> Not according to Hanson. No, indeed. Yeah. Uh, there is a lot more to come, supposedly. Yeah. It is amazing, though, how 12 months ago, a lot of the so-called pundits were saying South Africa will be the team to beat, and where have they been this year? Yeah. It's incredible, isn't it, how yeah. the worm can turn? Well, they're not helped by fruitcake of a coach, are they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's probably a euphemism, Jim. Yeah. Mm, under pressure. Indeed. Um, Hone Harawera, his views on uh, interracial relationships has uh, caught quite a bit of attention this week. Um, the Prime Minister has offered his thoughts. Is it unfortunate that the likes of the Race Relations Commissioner hasn't come down like a ton of bricks? Um, no, no, I, I don't think it's unfortunate. I, I mean, in, 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 many, in some ways, what Hone has said is purely racist, purely racist. But um, that was my initial reaction anyway. But then when you think about it, maybe with Indigenous people, you have to, there are some other considerations. And one is that, that they're, um, uh, they're obviously in, in a sort of protective mode. Mm. They want to defend or protect the, the, the um, for want of a better word, the bloodlines to, to um, protect Maori-ness. And so I can see, yeah, maybe if, if I was a, um, a Maori father, I would be thinking, yeah, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd like to see my, my daughter marry a, a Maori. Um, having said that, I mean, I think it is a very old-fashioned attitude. And Look, the world is moving on. We're all going to... New Zealand's going to be a pale shade of brown in 25 years or 50 years. Mm. And Apart we need to get... Wheels. We all need to get our... <laughs> we, well, we all need to get our head around it. And uh, um, I would have thought Holly would have said, look, I don't care who they marry as long as they're, they look up, they're, they're good people. Yeah. But there you go. OK. Quick comments? I find myself curiously comforted by this because in New Zealand political discourse, this man marks out the outer limit mm. and really he's not so bad compared to some of the people you see overseas if you look <laughs> in the UK you've got the British National Party and if, if you look in America you've got people like Glenn Beck you know just foaming at their mouth type people and here we've got good old Uncle Hone who says a few <laughs> silly things but you know we take him to task and that's the end of it so I'm not too worried. Jim? Well he's got a constituency and I guess I don't know what his political game might be but he seems to me regularly distances himself in some way or other from uh, Sharples and Turia mm. and the current leadership. And maybe he's tapping into a sentiment amongst some Māori that they've been sold out by this Māori party or the, the willingness to get too close to national is subverting some, some values or whatever. I think it's possibly a political game because he has been all his life um, politically engaged, whether it was as an activist or more recently as a politician. Sure.
All right. I've often thought the Harawira is like the New Zealand equivalent to the Osbournes. They need their own TV show. It would be <laughs> such a rating success, wouldn't it? Um, to the pick of the week, um, and this is uh, a nice touch of irony from Brisbane. At a recent fair, as the notice board reads, psychic fair cancelled due to unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> How didn't they foresee that? Of course, is the question. Last week's question um, on our Newsmakers poll, should the drink drive limit be lowered from 0.08 to 0.05 in line with Australia's? 59% of you said yes, 41% no, the prize winner T. Reid. This week's question will get you to be Nostradamus. Will Winston Peters be re-elected to Parliament next year? Yes or no? Email newsmakers at ctv.co.nz. You can use the web or the post to cast your votes. You'll be in to win the Starbucks coffee and the Whitcalls gift card. Thank you very much to our panel, Martin Van Banen, turning 150 next year, Andrew Gunn and uh, Jim Tully. Thank you very much for your company. Go the All Blacks. Have a good weekend. Good night.